Welcome to the NCO Journal, the official magazine of NCO professional development. I'm your host, Sergeant First Class Vincent Abril. Now let's get down to Sergeant's business. Forward! New changes to Army programs that are meant to retain quality non-commissioned officers will take effect 1 October 2016 at the beginning of the new fiscal year. Secretary of the Army Eric Fanning signed Army Directive 2016-19 implementing new policies meant to ensure the Army only retains its best soldiers. Under the Bar to Continued Service Program, formerly known as the Bar to Reenlistment Program, all enlisted ranks in the active and reserve components could receive notice that they must improve their performance or face separation from service despite having reenlisted indefinitely. Soldiers who wish to re-enlist under the new NCO Career Status Program, formerly known as the Indefinite Re-enlistment Program, must wait until their 12th year of service to apply. The new entry point is meant to coincide with the Army's new retirement system, which begins on January 1st of 2018. The directive also reduces the number of years senior non-commissioned officers can stay in the Army by reducing retention control point levels for pay grades E7 to E9. This change will take place over a three-year period, so contact your unit career counselor for more information. After surviving a formal board, blistering heat, hands-on evaluations, and a 12-mile ruck march over four days, Sergeant First Class Martin Delaney of Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri was selected as the 2016 Drill Sergeant of the Year. Sergeant Ryan Moldovan of the 98th Training Division was named the 2016 Army Reserve Drill Sergeant of the Year, and Staff Sergeant Brandon Laspie of Panama City, Florida was awarded the title of Advanced Individual Training Platoon Sergeant of the Year. These victorious non-commissioned officers will spend the next year working at the strategic level with TRADOC's U.S. Army Center for Initial Military Training. Congratulations on a job well done! An NCO worth her weight in gold. Army Medical Sergeant Elizabeth Marks, a member of the U.S. Army World Class Athlete Program and Paralympic swimmer, offered a reminder of why she captured the world's attention this year with her performance at the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 26-year-old Marks set a new world record and won gold in the women's 100-meter breaststroke. She finished the race more than four seconds ahead of her American teammate, Jessica Long, who took silver. Mark's impairment stemmed from the bilateral hip injury she sustained while deployed to Iraq as a combat medic in 2010. She underwent several painful surgeries and exhaustive rehabilitation before finally being deemed fit for duty in 2012. Along the way, Marks took up swimming as a means to assist in her recovery. She suffered a setback in 2014 while competing in London's Invictus Games. Marks collapsed with respiratory distress syndrome and her condition worsened. She was eventually taken to Papworth Hospital in Cambridge, England and placed on life support to help her breathe. She missed the games, but Marks said later that she was fortunate to be alive. Marks made international headlines earlier this year for her gesture at the Invictus Games in Orlando, Florida. She was decorated with her fourth gold medal by Britain's Prince Harry. After he placed the medal around Mark's neck, she gave the medal back to Prince Harry. She wanted him to deliver the medal to the hospital that helped save her life. Her request was honored on June 1st. In July, Marks became the first active duty service member to be presented with the Pat Tillman Award for her service at the ESPYs, an award show that recognizes achievements in sports. Now, Marks is a gold medalist and a world record holder, a true golden standard for all to follow and emulate. Well, that's it for now, folks. Get all the details on these stories and others by visiting www.ncojournal.dodlive.mil, and we'll see you next time right here on the NCO Journal.